this is Rabhiya, Master Teacher of Chemistry at Vedanta. Welcome to the session where I will be telling you what are the 10 things you should never do before exams. Yes, see, these are the things you should avoid. So, when the exams are near, so of course, pre boards are about to happen and the board exams are also not very far, right? So, what are the 10 things you should never do before exams? But before that, if these are the problems which you guys are facing here is the list of problems which you must be facing or you might be facing then let us look for a solution and bingo so all the problems have been solved plus bonuses so where 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 visit the link given in the description box as well as in the pin comment that is where you will find the solution for all of these problems then choose your grade board click on to the description i'm sorry subscription and if you want additional 20% discount, use the coupon code S-U-R-P-R-O. Surpro is my coupon code. Yep, the link is available in the description as well as in the pinned comment. And the coupon code is S-U-R-P-R-O. So let us start. What are the 10 things you should never do before exams? Hmm. First, very, very, very obvious, do not use social media. See, you know, we all have that tendency, right? So once we start using the going through scrolling down the Instagram or Twitter, I'm sure you all must be having an Instagram account these days. So, you know, you cannot stop yourself, right? So you will get distracted and you will start thinking about so some so you will be stalking one celebrity who's kiss out, oh, who is this? So some some tagged account, then we'll start stalking them and all that so please let us just stay away from social media before your exams do not use social media do not compare your preparation huh calling hey anjali are you prepared how many chapters <gasps> you're already there you have revised it twice already why it's okay so we all have different ways of studying Right? So please do not compare your preparation with your friends or classmates. No, no, no. It's a big no. So never compare anything. Okay? Not only preparation or the study techniques. Kuch bhi. Do not compare your preparation with your friends. Do not try any new book at the last moment. So we do this, right? So first, the whole year we are like, ah, chill rahe. And at the end, like, which book are you referring? Which book? Are, oh, is it good? So if we refer this, we will get... 90 plus marks, okay. So how do you expect yourself to understand the whole book at the last moment? It's not possible, right? So please do not try any new book at the last moment. Do not procrastinate. It is very, very important because we all tend to do that. So, you know, you will first make excuses. Ha, abhi 4 o'clock hai na? So I'll start at 4.30. Oh, it's already 4.35. No, 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 no. I'll start at 5 o'clock. Please do not do that. Then what you will uh, do is you will start feeling guilty. Arre, why did I do that? So you will start thinking about why didn't you do it? And last way, you will realize how much time have you wasted thinking or regretting how much time have you wasted. Right? You get it, right? Yes. So please do not procrastinate. Do not copy anyone's strategy. So, of course, we are making strategy uh, related videos on YouTube and all that. But see, we all have different methods. The way I study and my best friend study is completely different. Okay. So, she uh, studies the whole night. I cannot do that. So, maximum 12 o'clock or 1, I have to be asleep. That's how I am. So, I can, I'll, I'll get up at 7 o'clock. I'll revise once. Done. But she will start preparing notes then. And she will, she does not sleep the whole night. So it's it's different, right? The timetable, the target, the way we study, the way we approach a subject. Because for me, maths is difficult. For her, physics was difficult. So it is different and obviously our strategies would be different too. So please do not copy anyone's strategy when the exams are very close. Do not change your timetable. Last minute, babe, don't change it. Because you have been used, you, have, you would have gotten used to the uh, the timetable which you have prepared right of course when you are studying it is very important to have a timetable or set some target so at the last moment do not change your timetable because the sleep cycle should not be affected too 
so during the exam you should make sure that you are getting enough amount of sleep so please don't stay up till 3 2 and waking up at 10 to pura cycle will be uh, you know imbalanced and all that so please do not change your timetable do not keep reading acha so i have rev- i'll revise it five times how just keep reading 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 what is the use rather than reading just practice writing you know writing once is enough it will be stored in your mind so please don't just keep reading here yes, so i am doing it for the sixth time i have revised it six times sign six times so i will get 100 or 100 no please practice writing especially chemistry mein in all the subjects of course so the equations the reactions the theories the laws it is very 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 important to practice to write and practice so please don't just keep reading do not eat outside food because health is also very very important right so only when you are when you are sure about your physical and mental health then only you can perform well so it is very important to you know check on your health the physical health too so please do not eat outside food and sleep properly try to drink hot water do not eat outside food the junk food specially it's a big no exam tak theek hai uske baad go out have nice food do not eat outside food do not over sleep too as i told you so what i used to do is i had this very bad habit so um alarm would go off at 5:30 a.m. I'll get up, okay? Yes, I'm like I'm a very good girl. I'll start studying. Then at 6, I'm like, you know, let me just take a nap because I have to write a lot. Just a nap, maybe for 20 minutes power nap. But I wake up at 8:30. Then what is the use? I could have slept till 6, right? No. I woke up I wanted to wake up early. So that I actually overslept. So please follow a proper timetable the sleep cycle also has to be perfect do not oversleep but make sure that you are getting at least 8 hours of sleep every single day and the last point is do not get late to reach exam center so this is something i have like whenever there is a video related to examination i always say the same thing do not get late to reach exam center so go there before an hour so you will be you know so you don't get you don't uh, get to be anxious about what is happening or you am late you know so please don't uh, be in that situation go early you know talk to your friends but don't discuss anything okay who oh, have you revised it twice oh i don't know this and please don't start reading something new at the last moment so if you have left one topic don't start it then but make sure that you are le- reaching early to the examination center so these are the 10 things you should never ever do before an examination of course a few points are kind of difficult to follow but if you follow them so you will of course if with the right uh, practice and you know if you have learned and learned well practiced well of course you can score well too so third of the day success comes in cans and not counts so i can and i will so that is it for today thank you so much for watching this video people if you like it if you liked it then like it so like the video too and share this with your friends so that even they can watch and get to know what are the 10 things they should never do before an examination Thank you so much till now it was Surabhi your master teacher of chemistry at Vedantu jiska coupon code hai S U R P R O if you are taking up the pro subscription the link is available in the description and if you are if you want to uh, join our telegram group link udhar hi hai thank you if you have any doubt you can always reach out to me at surabhi.r@vedantu.com see you soon bye bye